853 million people fly on U.S. airlines every year. I surveyed thousands of travelers and over 86% of them believe the airline industry is not plus size friendly. This has to change. I hear the point, but this is like a really, really dumb take because like, okay, listen, listen to this, right? That'd be like somebody asking somebody, hey, um, like, tell me what you think about like student loan debt. Like, you do not like it. Like, do you think it's like really, really bad? Most people go, yeah, student loan debt is like really, really bad. And I think like college has gone up like really, really expensive in the last like two decades. And I think it's like really unsustainable for a lot of people to be graduating with 30, 40, $50,000 in debt. That's going to like literally be hurting them for the rest of their life. And then you ask them, okay, like, would you be okay with like for student loan forgiveness? Like, oh yeah, hundred percent. Like, I think people should like, have their student loans just be forgiven and then you go okay great um how much are you willing to donate those people go oh huh, nothing like what do you talk what do you mean how much do i want to donate nothing dude same thing here like i'm sure that however many people you fucking asked would 100 say like oh yeah i want like more accessibility options I want the seats to be bigger i want to be able to like spread my legs out right I'm sh I, I don't doubt that but then when you ask them okay well, that's going to cost money. You're going to like pick up an extra 20% or something on top of the, the ticket price. Most people are going to go, oh, uh, no, I'm okay. Actually, I'm totally fine with just like sitting in my seat. Like, yeah, all those things apply, but that doesn't take away from the fact that most people just don't want to deal with having extra price on top of whatever they're like. Most people are okay with having uh, less accessibility options if that means that they have to pay less money. Like you do understand that there is a price involved to a lot of this stuff. And most people just don't want to pay that extra money when it comes to the, the price tag of the plane tickets. So like, I understand your point, but it's a dumb point. Like in actuality, this is not going to accomplish anything. Like anyway, whatever. Um, I mean, if this is how you want to get your point across that like fat people are not like fat people are being oppressed, it's a bad point. I believe the airline industry is not plus size friendly. This has to change. I mean, like really think about this, right? Like 80, 853 million people fly on the US airlines every single year. And then she asked a couple thousand people. And then like, see, look at it, like, every year I, I surveyed thousands of people. And then suddenly like, she's like, oh my God, 86% of these people that I asked are like telling me the truth. Like, oh my God, I can't believe that. Like, I don't give a fuck. First of all, like, what does this even indicate at all? So like, <laughs> I don't even know if that's like, less than like 1%. What is that number? Like, is, isn't that like 0 0.1%? Like, of the entire population of the airline like wow you really got a great study involved dude it's like it's not even anywhere close change in 2020 like this woman is literally saying this shit with inspirational music being played as she literally shuffles from one end of the plane to the back because she's so fat i also want to like point out she's so fat that she got the pre-boarding <laughs> she's like she i don't know if she paid for first class but she's like one of those people that like you know when you're like you have a disability or whatever they put like disability people on the plane first which is like fine because like they need to go on the plane first she's one of these people like <laughs> she's one of these people and she's complaining still like okay whatever man e3 i initiated a petition demanding that air travel become more inclusive over thirty-five thousand people have signed it which is like nothing again in correlation to like the 895 million people that you said that ride planes every single year that's literally fucking nothing dude but uh i also like i think it's like really weird this person their entire TikTok, because sometimes like I just randomly watch people's TikToks. By the way, we do live streams on the channel and we watch TikTok sometimes. But um, I went on their channel and then like I was looking through their catalog of videos. And for some reason, like it's fine to just do whatever you want on your social media. Go ahead. But she has like a lot of videos that are just like really cringe that have absolutely nothing to do with like flying while fat or like being fat. Like she has some videos of just her just being polyamorous, like in her and her boyfriend, like looking for a potential partner that's a man that I guess they can like engage in sexual activity with. I don't know, it's like really weird. But uh, I thought it was like really cringy. I just wanted to point that out because I thought it was like weird. The fight is far from over. Since launching the petition, it's become even more clear that society unfairly believes. Plus this is just depressing too. Like, I, I'm sorry I keep pausing, but this, this woman is literally shuffling from one end of the plane to the next while claiming that they're oppressed because you can't fit in plane seats. Like, they, they really think about this situation, dude. This woman is like refusing to do anything for herself. And instead, she wants you to pick up the, pick up the price tag for the accessibility, the accountability uh, aspects of her life like it's just like these people have like absolutely no self-confidence in themselves to make changes they just want everybody else to do it for them really really sad man a size individuals shouldn't travel comfortably or without stigma. however this only fuels my determination to fight for inclusive travel plus God, why can't you fight to lose some fucking weight dude why is this the only thing everybody nowadays has to be an activist for something and everybody feels like they are like oh yeah i'm doing something grand and fucking amazing like dude you're really not doing anything at all you're literally just shuffling in a plane and you're upset that you can't fit in one plane one plane seat when you could literally just lose weight and you would be able to sit, fit in that plane ticket and not only that 
it would like just fundamentally increase your likelihood of surviving life in general. And instead, you want to do this. Um, I mean, hey, I guess there are worse things that you could be doing. Like, you could literally be Hitler, I guess. Like, there are plenty of worse things. But this is not it. Like, I don't know. Like, world hunger, right? Like, I don't know. Go out there and advocate for more farmland. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. Like, I don't know. There's plenty of things that you could do instead of doing this. Really sad. Size individuals won't be deterred. And I'm committed to advocating for change until it's achieved. It's never going to happen. Like, these people, the way they like, the way they like to look at it is that like the world should change for them instead of them changing for the world, which never really works. Like there, you will have like certain time frames in, in the, in our history where big, big changes happen all at once because of some grandiose display of people standing up for their rights or whatever. Like think back to, I guess civil rights, but even that took literally decades to achieve. So like even there, and then I guess slavery. And again, like that took literally decades. And even if you want to go like further back than that, like these things take a long time to implement change. And they're not just something that can just be implemented in a month, two months, a year, no. So um, I always like try to tell people that if you're going to, if you want to like advocate for change, it's, I'm not saying it's not a bad, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I really like to think like maybe look more inward because a lot of the things that you're advocating for can literally be changed through yourself, right? So if you're talking about like, oh, there's no plus size clothing. Oh, I can't fit in planes. I can't like fit in my bathroom anymore because I'm so incredibly fat. I'm massive. I'm just wag. And your solution to that is go to the government, advocate for them to like pick up the price tag for a lot of this stuff, which would literally be increasing the tax bracket across the entire spectrum of people. Um, maybe instead of doing that, instead of like throwing everybody else under the bus, maybe you could just, I don't know, like do something for yourself and lose some weight and then you'll be able to, you know, fit in that plane ticket or like you'll be able to fit in that plane seat or be able to take a shower properly and not be able to like, this woman literally has a video on their channel of them saying they're powerful because they have to take a seat in a wheelchair and walk with crutches because that means they're, they're, they're acknowledging that they have a problem and it's okay that they're fat because guess what? I have these, I don't even understand, honestly. Like, it's really fucking cringy. Like, I'm so cool because I can sit in a wheelchair and I'm fat. Like, I don't even understand it, to be honest. Like, it's really cringy. But um, these people, like, really have a weird way of trying to solve their problems. Like, it's, it's so weird, man. Travel is for everybody and nobody should be discriminated against. It just, you know, the way they say discrimination is very, very weird. You, people discriminate against everybody all the time every day okay like this person discriminates against a blue water bucket 100 like when she went to the store and she picked up like a this pink this pink like water jug she discriminated against all the other colors and that's oh my god i can't believe how terrible you are discrimination only becomes a problem when you discriminate against people that can't change things about themselves and even then it's probably still okay because we still do that like guys cannot walk into women's bathrooms well in some states i guess they can but there are things about people that can't be changed and we discriminate against them you know what i'm talking about all the time literally all the time so it just depends on where you're looking and what you're talking about usually people have a problem with a black guy being discriminated against getting a job because he's black you know so there's that obviously i'm against that thing uh, i'm gonna take the wild take here the hot take here and say i'm against like racial discrimination but when you're talking about like body discrimination sometimes you need to body discriminate like especially when it comes to hey i'm looking for a job um yeah and like what does this job entail oh you need me like run on the sidelines next to marathon runners and like record them oh well i don't have legs so when can i when, when can i start like go well uh, you can't you don't have legs well that's discrimination isn't it yes it is discrimination 100 discrimination in the same sense of here like you're discriminating against me because i'm so fat that i can't fit in this plane ticket like i can't fit in this plane seat yes i know but you did that to yourself. Like, I'm sorry that we have a universal understanding of what we are supposed to do when it comes to plane seats, and you just don't fit in that. Like, it is discrimination technically, but nobody's ever going to look at it like that. It's such a weird way of trying to, like, <laughs> it's such a weird way of trying to define that. Sign the petition. I'm a skinny person, and yesterday I made a video about a plus-sized man. That video sparked a conversation that opened my eyes to something that I think every skinny person should think a little bit more about. For a little context, this very obnoxious street interviewer interviewed a plus-sized man where he asked him what his order was at Burger King. The dude politely answers his question and says, I just order one Whopper, and the joke is that, oh, he's a big guy, so he must order more than one Whopper. In my video, obviously, I criticized the interviewer for being this shallow bully but afterwards I had this moment of clarity for plus size people their weight and size is always the first thing that people notice about them 
their weight is the first impression every time whether they like it or not and that has to be exhausting yeah i mean that's what it is though like women get acknowledged for being women and you know i get acknowledged for having a mustache like yeah of course this, this is a common thing but so what like what's the what's the problem here it's exhausting that fat people get acknowledged for being fat I mean, what, do, what is the solution? There is no solution. You can't stop people from looking upon another person and judging them. That's just what it is. And it, it, I, I'm just like, I'm really, I'm just really sick of people pointing out really, really obvious things and never having actual solutions because I wouldn't even say this is a problem because this is just something that happens in general. Like if somebody drives up in a really, really nice car, most people are going to look at that car and go, whoa, that car is like really nice. I know. I know most people do that. Like, that's just what it is. And you could be like that one oddity person that doesn't do that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're a better person. That just means that you're outside the normal normal value of people when it comes to judging other people or like looking upon another fat person and noticing that they're fat first. So what? Like, there are plenty of things that people notice about you that maybe there, there are things that you don't want to be noticed about, but that's okay. All right, whatever skinny person when I meet someone new the first thing they're gonna notice about me is my eyes or my smile or projecting dude he man dude what do you what is this humble bat this humble brag dude oh yeah they they wouldn't notice me being fat of course because like my smile because my eyes like obviously look how attractive I am dude this is a humble brag dude <laughs> when I meet someone new the first thing they're gonna notice about me is my eyes for me it would be my ginormous bulge like I would walk up and he'd be like hey what's going <gasps> I'd be like, oh, my bad. Let me just move that over real quick. That'd be me. Or my smile or the way that I'm dressed. And I never have to think twice if they're making a snap judgment about me or my character because of my body. So what is the point of this video, bro? What are you virtue signaling? Like, what is it? What is the point of this video? Like, oh, my God, I can't believe that people are judging other people about things about they're judging their bodies. I cannot believe that. Dude, come on. Come on, dude. Stop. You know that literally everybody does that. You're doing it right now. You're literally talking about it. So like, don't act like this is something outside the norm. I don't even understand the point of this video. If your point, if your point of the video is I don't get judged for these things, but other people get judged for these things, and I think it sucks, then okay. But like, dude, there's no point to that. Like that, that's an obvious statement. People get judged for things all the time. Women are literally like sexually har harassed all over the internet just for being women. I know because like I've lived through the Call of Duty era, and anytime I ever saw a woman in a lobby, all you would ever hear is, "Hey, yo, what's your vagina?" smell like how big are your boobs do you got do you got areolas can i see them like that's what you would see and i'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing i'm just saying it, it happens and it's obviously not good like it's not i don't think it's a good thing right it's just something that happens right and if somebody's fat and they're getting acknowledged for being fat what is your solution like is there a solution it's not not even necessarily a bad thing whether you agree or not, your body is not something that can be changed immediately or... So? What? Dude, what are you talking about? Why does it even matter if it's something that can and cannot be changed? It What? What is the fucking point of this video, bro? Quickly, without serious medical intervention. Some what? What are we doing? So, like, bro, the virtue signaling is way too hard here. W what I'm getting from this guy is... You are judging somebody based on something that they can change, yes, but it's also something that they cannot change right now. Therefore, if you're judging them based off of that thing, then you're a shit person, or at the very bare minimum, you're 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 a bigoted person for, I guess, talking about it or making that. Dude, everybody does that though. Like everybody, you know, when you see when you walk into a room, okay, uh, the other, today, literally today, I was out and I saw a giant fucking man, like not giant as like big like massive like i'm talking about he was tall he was so tall and i like i remember i walked into the grocery store and i looked i was like oh my god that guy is massive dude i wanted to ask him how tall he was because he was so massive but i didn't ask him because i thought it would be weird to ask but i think more people should because i i think he probably would have liked it if i asked him but it doesn't matter people do it all the time why is it okay to do it on that front but it's not okay first of all dude we're literally talking about people thinking about stuff. That's weird. Like, there's nothing we can do about that. Like, is your argument literally we should stop looking at people and thinking stuff? That's not going to happen. That's crazy. And then also, how do you even know this is a negative thing? Like, when you look upon somebody that is overweight or obese and you look at that and you go, oh, man. That person is literally dying. That person is literally suffering on a daily basis. I cannot believe the amount of trauma and just absolute terribleness that person probably has on their body on a daily basis. Do you, why would you think that's necessarily a bad thing? That could be like an indicator of good health, m mentally speaking. That could be like you understanding that you don't want to be a position like that. And you're just reflecting that in your brain. 
Are you talking about it in the sense of like making videos? Because most people are not making videos outside of BKs interviewing fat guys on how many Whoppers they eat. That's a really, no, that's not happening. So like, again, what's the point of this video? He changed immediately or quickly without serious medical intervention. It's just virtue signaling. Like this is all it is. It's like, oh, feel bad for fat people. And like, also, you know, like you guys should acknowledge how great I am because I'm also acknowledging it. But it's not even something you acknowledge. This, this is such a... This is such a basic, this is a, such a basic post that if anybody like, he's not saying anything. Like, I hate it when somebody goes like, oh, I, this, this would be like the equivalent of somebody going like, I support firefighters. I know, like everybody support firefighters, everybody. Like there's not a single person on the planet. I bet even if the person, a staunch hater of firefighters would probably still support firefighters because they saved a cat one time. Like there's like what, you know, it's such low hanging fruit that I just don't think that anybody needs to make a video on that shit. Like, oh, I'm going to take the wild, I'm going to take the wild take here and I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm just going to say it. I think gay people are people. Like, can you believe that? Oh, uh, I just can't believe it. Like it's such a, it's, it's, it just doesn't need to be said. Sometimes weight gain is caused by mental obstacles like food addiction, and sometimes it's caused by physical conditions like PCOS. Most of the time, if somebody's fat, it's because they're eating too much. And I'm going to say most of the time, as in like 95, 99% of the time. Sometimes it's just people living their life and eating food they enjoy. True. Either way, imagine if that interviewer approached that man and asked him about his hobbies. Yeah, but that wouldn't get the views. I mean, there's a reason why you reacted to the video. <sighs> Like, you wouldn't be here right now if that video wasn't there, right? You wouldn't be making this video, and you wouldn't be saying the things that you're saying, as basic as they are, as literal useless statements as they are, but go off, queen. You wouldn't be doing that. So there's a reason why he made the video and he said what he said, right? It's because he got views. And it, it obviously worked, because you're talking about it. Or about his first love. Anything about, about his About his character. first love, dude? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what? Hey, fat man that just came out of the, the BK. Uh, tell me about your first time that you fell in love. What? What are you talking about? That's really weird to talk about. Dude, this guy's coming out of a BK. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? All right, man. That would have been better than making an unfunny joke about... This guy is literally virtue signaling so fucking hard right now. It's so cringe, bro. It's so now cringe. his weight. His weight, which, by the way, has virtually zero impact on the way anyone else lives their life. And you know what else would have zero impact on how I live my life? Uh, understanding who his first love was or his hobbies. What the fuck is the point of this video? D what? Dude, d that doesn't matter. Like, okay, so... What is the point? Like, all right, so it doesn't have any impact on how I live my life, but it doesn't matter. Like, you know what else doesn't have an impact on the way I live my life? The fucking Avengers movies, okay? But I watch them all because I like the Avengers movies. Sometimes people just, why does everything have to be revolved around improving your life incrementally? You can't just, like, do something because you just think that it would be fun to do it that one time. No, you can't do that. You can't just, like, walk outside and take a walk. You, everything needs to have, like, a deep, deep down fucking meaning on everything that you do. No, but that's not how life works. Sometimes you just do shit. Because you just want to do shit sometimes. And that's okay. Like, me sitting down and playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for three hours doesn't mean that I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm having some kind of, like, philosopher's statements going on in my fucking head and getting, like, from reading the Yu-Gi-Oh! text. No. That's like, what are you, what are you, what are you? Okay, bro. Whatever, man. Like, <laughs> this is a bullshit. This makes no sense. What's the point? Has virtually zero impact on the way anyone else lives their life. Either way, as a skinny person... I hate when people, like, preference it with, like, as a skinny person coming from a, a realm of privilege. Obviously, like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, or like, ah, uh, you know, like, just, just announcing the privilege statement right at the beginning is always cringy as fuck. Impact on the way anyone else lives their life. Either way, as a skinny person, society has conditioned us to see fat people as fat people first man dude oh man this guy is agonizing but you know what's really really crazy about this is that even though he has like very very like basic bitch takes um if you look at the, like, the video i remember like when i saved this video because like i didn't watch the video fully just like watched the maybe the 10 second like a 10 second clip of it and i was like oh okay this is like pretty good to like react to dude this this shit had like hundreds of thousands of likes like people were like really real real deal like supporting this guy and, like, watching the video back now, I'm just thinking, like, okay, like, I'm sure, is this really what it comes down to? Like, just make a TikTok and just say the most basic shit you possibly can, and then also try to virtue signal in the middle of it while saying, like, oh, yeah, like, oh, man, 
us thin people have it so good and we've been conditioned to believe this like it's too easy it's such low hanging fruit like it doesn't need to be said it's so fucking basic bitch but so many people like fuck with it it's so crazy i just don't sometimes i look at the internet and i'm like dude you guys are literally supporting a guy that l almost literally said nothing at all like he he this is the most basic takes you can possibly have as a skinny person society has conditioned us to see fat people as fat people first i hope that i didn't misrepresent for the plus size community in this video much love to you all have a beautiful day Mwah. Gay. Gay. Just gay. Just gay, bro. None of that shit. You didn't need to say any of that, bro. It, that shit was all irrelevant. Literally, every single last bit of it. But you know what, man? He got the support. He got the views. So I guess it didn't matter. He, I mean, he's going to keep, he's going to keep virtue signal like he is. Even though none of the shit he said made any, I mean, it made a lot of sense in the sense of like, it didn't need to be said. It'd be like me going like, oh, drink water to stay hydrated. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. Fucking crazy take, right? I can't believe it. Lies the world believes about being fat. Number four, body size is a choice. Lie. This is apparently a lie. I didn't know that body size. You know, they might be right in a very general way in the sense of like you didn't get to choose the way exactly your body would be shaped when the, when you were like born, I guess. So if, if you believe it like that, then sure, you're probably correct. But then again, like nobody really talks about that since it's not exactly like nobody's ever going there. It's such a far off way of thinking about it that it's never like spoken about. But if you're talking about it in the sense of like how you can shape your body, then yeah, most definitely it is a choice. You can, if you don't want to be fat, you don't have to be fat. And, but if you do want to be fat, then you have a choice to just stay fat. And you can also be more muscular. You can also be more acrobatic. You can also be less weighted like there are plenty of things that you can do in order to change the size of your body like you wouldn't be able to change the bone structure in the way your body is built fundamentally but like again nobody's looking at that nope wrong diet culture needs everyone to believe that their product works they are incredibly they are incredibly vested to the tune of billions of dollars in the idea that humans can count I'm sorry humans can control the size of their body but they, they can. I mean, like like I said, you won't be able to control the way that your body is shaped, like the bone structure. But yeah, if you're like 350 or like you're like 220, yeah, you can lose some fucking weight. It, it, it all comes down to calories in, calories out, understanding what nutrition is, probably being a little bit more active, like taking a walk every once in a while. There are plenty of things that you can do to make yourself bigger or smaller or make yourself more muscular or less muscular. There are plenty of things that you can do. Yeah, and most of it does have to do with diet. Just diet. Just eat a little less. Just be a little bit more committed. You can do it. Cough, cough. Bullshit. Oh, my bad. <coughs> Bullshit. Body size is not a choice. And if you do make an attempt to control the size of your body to make it smaller, your body will have a lot to say about that. It's a lie. Body size is not a choice. Yeah, for some reason, these people believe that, like, your body has a natural set point and that because your body has this, like, predetermined idea of where it should be that if you try to change that even though that doesn't really make sense because like dude people for all of time have never been fat i don't know why so many people nowadays think there are these people that are like 300 pounds or more that somehow this is just a normal value for people to be this size like never in and ever in the last 200 and 200,000 years or 400,000 years whatever you believe have human beings ever been this size okay it's like this is an anomaly nowadays and this has only been a thing for like the last 60 years as well so dude no absolutely not but they believe that they genuinely believe that there is a set body point and that if you try to go above or below that, your body will like fight against you or like your body will, I guess, try to like stay at a particular body size, which again, doesn't really make any sense. Cause like, what if you were 350 and just didn't eat? Like, do you think your body will just stay at 350? No, you'll lose weight. And you're not supposed to be at 350. You're not supposed to be at 220. You're not supposed to be at 400 pounds. Like these body weight amounts are literally so far off of the realm of normality it's so crazy that they even try to argue these these points because they're so they're so far-fetched like I, I almost can't even believe that they they have these argument points cw medical fat phobia mentions of intentional weight loss what is uh what does cw stand for what is that like the tv channel like where they make the flash and stuff like that i hope that's not what that is anyway Hi, so I'm from the UK and I have been told that I have pre-diabetes. Okay, already starting off pretty not so good. I have pre-diabetes only slightly. 
but enough for the NHS to offer me their diabetes prevention program -y. Program -y? program -y? Okay. Um, by the way, if somebody says I'm pre-diabetic and you go, but only a little bit, that's kind of weird, dude. That's like somebody going like, I only have a little bit of AIDS. Like, I only have a little bit of heart failure. It's not that big of a deal. But anyway, I thought about it carefully. But I really, but I really does look... I thought about it carefully, but I really does look like a weight management course, and I've just got to go, I just got to a good place mentally and physically and really can't be doing the intentional weight loss. How the, f so your doctor is literally telling you that it's a problem, like, oh yeah, you're pre-diabetic and like, this could be like negatively affecting your health, like serious, and you go, I know that you guys are like trying to help me. And I know that this is like probably something I should do, but nah, nah, because I really can't like, I can't, this would hurt my mental health. This would hurt my physical health, but your physical health is already hurt. You're literally pre-diabetic. What are you talking about? What are you saying? This is literally an issue. What are you? Okay. All right, dude. Whatever, dude. I mean, yeah, sure. Intentional weight loss, fat phobia. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. This is, this is actually hilarious. Okay, all right. I spoke to the course provider, and they said it's not weight loss. It's not weight loss. It's a, why is this programmy? What is that? Programmy, is that how you spell that? Programmy to support with knowledge around lifestyle areas, not nutrition and exercise. Uh, okay, but I don't even, what are you even doing here then if it's not that? That impact the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. But. All the website info is about weight loss, weight management. I don't understand how having knowledge about nutrition or lifestyle changes will reduce my risk of having diabetes. Damn. Now I see why they, they highlighted that shit. I don't understand. Well, that's probably the reason why you should go to this program then. If, if they're going to teach you how to navigate the realms of nutrition and exercise and things such as so forth then yeah, uh, that seems like you need it. You literally don't even understand why you need to understand this shit. That's actually crazy. The, the reason why you need to understand this is because your entire life you're going to be eating and your entire life you're going to be moving your body. So wouldn't it be beneficial to know why you're doing that stuff and what it's doing to you? And then also, your doctor literally told you that you're pre -di My bad. You only have, you have a little bit pre-diabetes. So like, you should probably get that under control, right? Like this, this should be something that you 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 understand at the bare minimum. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, dude. I mean, like I like this person said, they have poor mental health, so maybe. <laughs> I mean, all right. When I've explained this to my straight size partner, they got really upset and started panicking about the pre-diabetes. Yeah, no shit. What the fuck? A fucking why the fuck would your partner not get upset by that? What you're gonna go to your your partner and be like? I don't, like, I'm just gonna let you know, it. I don't know if this is, like, gonna be a big deal for you, but, like, yeah, I got a little bit, just a little bit, not that much, by the way, I got a little bit of, I got a little bit of pre-diabetes, a little bit, just a little bit, not that much, actually, probably just a little bit, just enough to, like, coat, uh, a side of some toast or something like that, not that much, and my doctor, he told me that I should probably go to this, this place to understand diet and exercise and nutrition and stuff like that. And I, I told him that, nah, I'm, I'm all right, to be honest. Like, I don't think that's how big of a deal. I don't even know why you're freaking out. Like, I don't know why. Like, you, you like it's not really going to do it. What is diabetes really? Like, nothing, right? Forget about it. It's nothing. Like, what do I need to go there for? Wait, why is this even a thing? Yeah, I would hope that your partner is upset by that. They want me to engage with the course, but I really can't face it. And I don't want diabetes. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That's okay. Okay, whatever, bro. It's just it's just funny talk like I don't want diabetes. Like, yeah, okay. Like, I know. Uh there are very few people that are like seeking out diabetes. Like, not many people want it. But yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> All right. They want me to engage with the course, but I really can't face it. I don't want diabetes, but I don't think weight loss prevent I don't think weight loss will prevent that. It will. It literally will. But uh, go off, queen. Does anyone have, does anybody have any tips on how to negotiate this with my partner and state my boundaries? What? 
Break up. Break up with your boyfriend, dude. Why are you dragging this person down when you're literally talking about some mob? Yeah, my partner wants me to take the course to be healthy, but I don't really like that. So, like, how do I tell that person that I don't want to do, like, I don't care about my health? And how do I tell that person I don't want to, like, do anything for myself? But I don't really, I don't really want the diabetes. But, I mean, if it's the diabetes or him, I'm going to choose the diabetes. I think the diabetes is probably the way to go. I was thinking along the, si the lines of, I was thinking along the lines of my body, my choice. Go ahead, dude. Your body, your choice. But this relationship is a 50-50, right? So that means that I can leave. Like, you can go ahead and... I hate it when people make this, this claim. Like, it's... I do believe my body, my choice. But it's an ignorant claim to not think that other people... Like, you hold some responsibility to your body for other people, right? Like, your mom, your parents, your significant other. Like, if you're sitting there going, my body, my choice, and this shit's literally going to kill you, and you don't want to do it, you can't expect other people to fuck with that decision. That's a terrible-ass thing to do. But, again, again, yeah, it's your decision. But, like, that person can also leave that relationship. So, you know, choose your choose your words wisely there. Here's a link to the programmy in question for context. Contact content warning reminder for intentional weight loss. Bro, these people on some different shit, dude. These people go way too far to justify, like literally on the death's door. Like your doctor's telling you, like, this is an issue. You should probably lose some weight. We're gonna hook you up with this programming. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. And like everybody's telling you it's gonna be good, but then you're sitting there going, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's only a little bit of diabetes. I mean, I don't want the diabetes, but I mean, it's not that bad, right? Like, I, my choice, my body, my choice. I don't really care about it. It's not that big of a deal, to be honest. It's just a little bit of diabetes. My partner's freaking out for no reason. Like, what are you fucking, what? How does this even happen? Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. Um, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you can do that stuff for me, I'd appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in, I don't know, moisturizer, moisturization, lubrification, moisturization, because it's super important to moisturize yourself every single day. And this goes from inside and out through the, through the ideas of liquid and sustenance and other things like that the beautiful amazing stuff that you put in your body is awesome i really care for you i think you're a special specimen of human being i want to pray to you you're an amazing person i love you anyway guys um we're gonna end the video here if you want to check out my social media it'll be linked down below in the description it's just my instagram twitter discord all that stuff will all be linked in the description enjoy the rest of your day guys